I'm standing with Ryan Garcia. You're headlining on ESPN in primetime, just seconds away from making that long-anticipated ring walk. What's going through your mind? This is just my moment. I'm ready to go. That's it. Let's get it. Earlier, you had a very special visit in your locker room. You had Julio Cesar Chavez, the legend, go in there. What was that like for you? He shook my hand with his right hand, so I feel it. I feel the energy in my right hand. Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. is a legend, and I'm ready to put on a show for him. Let's go. All right, All right ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? From Victorville, California, the undefeated Flash, Ryan T. Rye Garcia! Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to Fantasy Springs Resort Casino here in Indio, California. This is Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN. Our main event of the evening is scheduled for 10 rounds and will be contested for the Junior NABF Super Featherweight Championship. It's brought to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions and presented by Tecate, the official beer of boxing. Fantasy, never stop, never settle, and Wad Gear. The main event is sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. The chairman is John Cavelli. The executive officer is Andy Foster. It's also sanctioned by the NABF. The president is Craig Hubble. The supervisor here with us in the ring is Mo Noor. The judges for this contest are Carla Kais, Rudy Barrigan, and Patrick Russell. And controlling the action at the sound of the bell, the referee in charge is Jerry Cantu. And now, live from Fantasy Springs in Indio, California, 10 rounds for the Junior NABF Super Featherweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, it's go time! Introducing first the challenger fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 129 and one quarter pounds. He owns a veteran professional record consisting of 33 victories, 15 defeats, and three draws. 24 wins coming by way of knockout. Wearing black, trimmed with gold this evening, and hailing from Tijuana, Mexico. Appearing in his 52nd contest as a professional, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Fernando Vargas. And ladies and gentlemen, his undefeated opponent across the ring weighed in at 129 and one half bouts. He is undefeated as a professional, 13 bouts, 13 victories, 12 coming by way of knockout. Wearing burgundy with gold and hailing from Victorville, California, the 2017 ESPN Prospect of the Year, the reigning, the defending junior NABF Super Featherweight Champion, ladies and gentlemen, King Rye, Ryan the Flash Garcia. Let's go. Ryan, your belt's a little high. Right here is legal. 
You've been, gentlemen, you've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean, hard fight. You will obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Good luck to both of you. This is our Tecate Tale of the Tape. And you'll notice the rounds fought. 208 more for Fernando Vargas compared to Ryan Garcia, who lost Fought last fought 96 days ago, three months ago. The reach, though, favors Ryan Garcia by five inches. The speed, you'll just see it for yourself, just how quick Are this you young man Are is. You and I'm very happy to be joined by Golden Boy Limpio, Promotions. Caballero. Limpio. Oscar De La Hoya to call this fight. And we've talked about the comparisons. They're inevitable, Oscar. Everybody believes that this young man can be the next Golden Boy. And how ironic he's fighting a Fernando Vargas. Um, <laughs> I, I strongly feel that Ryan Garcia has uh, what it takes to be the uh, the next uh, the next superstar in boxing. Obviously, it's a lot to say uh, at such a, a young age and 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 with a short career, the you know uh, as he has. But um, as you will see, his speed, his power, his looks. I mean, you see all these little girls here. Uh, he's attracting fans that uh, have never even uh, seen or watched boxing ever before. So this is what the sport really needs. And you see a fighter like Fernando Vargas. You've been in there as the young, good-looking favorite, and the other guy wants to rough you up. That's a, is that what Fernando Vargas wants to do in this fight? Well, that's that's exactly the experience that he has. Uh, that's exactly what he wants to do. He wants to rough him up, take him into deep waters. Um, Fernando Vargas has, has, was chosen for a reason because of his experience, because of what he brings to the table. And uh, look, this is no easy fight for Ryan Garcia, but uh, we'll see what he has. We'll see what he's been working on. And uh, the viewing audience will be able to watch uh, the, uh, the, the, the fast hands that Ryan Garcia possesses. Nice jab there from Ryan Garcia, reminiscent of a punch that you dominated very well. Actually, I saw it on Instagram the other day that you were still throwing jabs. <laughs> I hope there's no comeback in the main. Even even after 25 pounds uh, later, uh, uh, it's it's still fast. So uh, you know, right there, beautiful right hand by Ryan Garcia. Um, you know, once they start warming up, you'll you'll be able to see the experience from Vargas, but you also see the uh, you'll see the speed and the power that uh, and the calmness, the cool coolness that that Ryan Garcia has is uh, is really very impressive for such a young age. Poised demeanor from Ryan Garcia, but this is what you want to see: a guy who's going to punch back, a guy who's going to take his shot and could keep coming forward. Because ultimately, as a promoter, at some point, you want to know that your guy can take a shot and go deeper. Exactly, and uh, look, this is this is a great example of a, of a young kid, uh, you know, walking into uh, the danger zone. Uh, Fernando Vargas is no slouch. Fernando Vargas has a lot of experience with 52 fights under his belt. So uh, we'll see how Ryan Garcia handles it. And also the attention that he's receiving. I mean, how is he going to handle that outside the ring? So right now it's a perfect test for him. And uh, I believe this fight will go several rounds and maybe Vargas will take him into deep waters. We'll see. Big right hand there from Ryan Garcia as the score the left. Beautiful combination. Beautiful combination. That's exactly what Ryan Garcia possesses his power. And the fight is over. What a statement Ryan Garcia made here, knocking out Fernando Vargas in the first round. Oscar De La Hoya said, I've said what I needed to say. Let me go up in the ring and congratulate this kid. That young lady says it best. What a finish from Ryan Garcia. King Rai Garcia and Oscar De La Hoya, quick as ever, gets right up there. Two minutes, 55 seconds is all he needed in this first round. Wow. Ryan Garcia getting props from the promoter, Oscar De La Hoya. As you see, Fernando Vargas loses 16 professional fight. Impressive. And there's the little dance from Ryan Garcia. He does it in the gym. He's got all kinds of energy. And I know that this is what it's all about. You want to cross over. You want to capture the imagination of everybody else. Here's that overhand right, and that's the left hook. That's the punch he said was going to end the fight. He says, as an amateur, it was always the left hand. But here as a pro, the right has been very impressive. The right set up the left hook, and Ryan Garcia, he knew it was over. It was one of many, and that was the combination that buckled the knees of Fernando Vargas, who went back, and there was nothing to do. That set it up. 
that was just a warning of what was yet to come from King Ryan Garcia, who says, every time out, I want to be on Sports Center Top 10. You know what? He may have just earned his spot in tonight's Top 10 finishes. Wow, King Ryan Garcia improving to 14-0. 13 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Every time out, we start seeing different and better things from Ryan Garcia, and there's about 500 and 80,000 Instagram followers are celebrating right about now. Mark Fratto is in the center of the ring with the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, your official time, two minutes, 55 seconds in round number one. Your winner by knockout, still undefeated and still the junior NABF champion. From Victorville, California, King Rai, Ryan, the Flesh Garcia. All right, King Ryan Garcia. What pressure is what he let us know with those dominant and powerful punches. You want to make a statement on primetime on ESPN. Ryan Garcia did just that. He told us at the beginning of the show, you may not know who I am now, but you will know my name. Write it down, R-Y-A-N, Garcia, King Wright. They call him the Flash. This is Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN. When we return, Ryan Garcia will sit right here and give us his impressions of this victory.